It's fall racing season, but not at Belmont Park. At the Big A, Belmont at the Big A. And David Levitch will be covering it for Horse Racing Nation, or at least hopefully covering the winners. And he is coming off a robust Saratoga performance. Paddock Prince, congratulations on beating the meet. Thank you. It was um, it's a tiring meet, but it was fun. It's a lot of it's a lot of work, but so I think everybody enjoys Saratoga the most out of most racetracks year round. The meet, at least. Absolutely. I'm always amazed. Uh, you know, now it's five days a week, and that's certainly been around long enough. I remember six days. It's really hard for me to imagine. Uh, now, granted, it was a little shorter weeks wise. That's the same number of days, but six days a week. It just seems like a lot. Yeah, I just started really playing horses when it was six days a week, and then it ended a couple of years ago. But I remember the six days a week too. It was it was kind of fun to have racing on Mondays, but at the same time, right. six days in a row of competitive racing is kind of brutal. Now we have uh, Colonial on Monday and Horseshoe Indianapolis, so still plenty of action. I appreciate the day off from Saratoga. I actually remember in the early two thousands, Ellis. Delmar and Saratoga all ran six days a week, and uh, it's just impossible <laughs> to think about having that kind of horse population now. Uh, but we go from five to four days a week at the uh, the Big A, Belmont at the Big A, and uh, as a handicapper, sort of switching, same circuit, but switching tracks. What are some traps that you've learned over the years to avoid when handicapping downstate versus Saratoga? Um. It's a little different. There's a lot more shippers from the Midwest at Saratoga, so it's kind of more when it's usually at Belmont and I guess Aqueduct. Now it's it's more of just there's a lot more New York bred races. It's more just straight New York horses. You might get some more shippers this year because the turf course it's situation at Churchill without I guess Keeneland coming up in a month. Some Kentucky people left some horses up there, but the track configuration at Belmont and Aqueduct is a little different. Um, usually when it goes from Saratoga to Belmont, the mile and an eighth races become one turn in Belmont. Now Aqueduct's two turns in Belmont and going a mile and an eighth. So there are Aqueduct and Saratoga have some more similarities compared to what Belmont has because the track is so big at Belmont. So trap wise, I think you treat it more. Aqueduct is going to kind of favor towards more of like a Saratoga type track. Um, with this, you know, the distances on the turf course are more comparable to Belmont because they have six and seven furlong races at Aqueduct compared to Saratoga having five and a half. So there's a few differences between the three, but I don't think it'll be a major um, difference going from Saratoga to Aqueduct, in my opinion. And uh, you mentioned the the shippers, and we have uh, the the stats uh, courtesy Horse Racing Nation, and no surprise to see most of the starters at belmont fall over the last five years now they will be at aqueduct but the way we looked at the numbers is kind of treated it like obviously we're going to look at what happened in september at belmont and not at aqueduct in november uh lots of saratoga horses and granted a losing proposition the roi is is negative although it does beat the takeout but the hrn impact is pretty close to break even and when you look at some of the other tracks around the region uh laurel parks uh finger lakes which uh we we know did terribly at sarah and has historically not much better there uh so it does seem like the uh the horses who do well at saratoga are more likely to do well at uh belmont in this case aqueduct this year yeah and i think saratoga there's a lot more like if the three Sarat Naira tracks, you have Saratoga, Belmont, Aqueduct. I feel like Saratoga is obviously the sexiest horse players. <laughs> Belmont's kind of in the middle. Like you'll get a lot of people playing Belmont still. And then Aqueduct, I feel like, is more of like the real gamblers, like the people that really just like the Naira circuit. I, I don't think many tourists are playing um, <laughs> um, Aqueduct on a Friday. So there's a lot more steam at Saratoga. So I think Aqueduct – I don't know if this makes sense, but it might lend us some better prices on horses because it's Saratoga. The word gets out about every single horse, everybody, you know, they're on TV all day. You got good handicappers. So I just think Aqueduct can probably will lead to some better prices on horses because you don't have the casual player playing Aqueduct like you would at Saratoga or even Belmont. And uh, a lot of that steam does typically come in the, the two-year-old ranks and another – Stat I pulled uh, for the uh, the Big A meeting coming up. Uh, again, this does look at Belmont, though, in September. 
post Saratoga. Uh, this is two year old season, lots of uh, maiden breakers and such. And uh, I was surprised uh, to see Jorge Abreu, uh, big, big numbers uh, with his two year olds at the Belmont Fall Meet uh, the last few years. Mike Maker as well. Uh, and then Chad Brown uh, actually has a positive impact and a just barely negative ROI. So for a guy who gets a lot of attention, he wins at a 25% clip with his two-year-olds at Belmont. I thought that was interesting. And then some of the bigger negative numbers, Pletcher, uh, Mott, uh, Rudy Rod is really bad. And then Randy Prasad, no uh, no shock to see that one at the bottom, 0 for 18. Uh, two-year-old racing, and we'll talk about this with Churchill too, although it's only dirt there. Uh, but what did you see from Saratoga? Are you the type that are looking for hot sires? Is it workouts for you? What's sort of your your two-year-old plan when you see that in the PPs? I'm kind of a workout guy at Saratoga first because that you know the clockers are really on hand there. It's I don't know if the the clocker reports are as in depth at Aqueduct and Belmont as they are Saratoga, and I kind of look at the human element first. I mean, if you look down at a two year old race at Saratoga and you see Pletcher, Asmussen, you know, <laughs> maybe even Chad Brown sometimes on the dirt. You know, you kind of I go through the human element first. And then the morning line, I don't, not a huge morning line person, but the morning line maker in New York is so good that if you see a horse that's lower than what you think, that kind of leads you to go to watch the workouts on XBTV or look at the workout reports because he's kind of giving you hints that this horse can really run. If it's from like a Bill, if you see a Bill Mott at three to one in a two year old race, you're like, oh, this horse must be doing really well in the morning. So I kind of just play the this, this simple routes, workouts. I mean, XBTV is really good at Saratoga, but I don't think we'll have that for Aqueduct, even though some horses stay at Saratoga. But the Saratoga meet this year, I feel like horses with a start did a lot better. Like, you know, you made fun. I think you made fun of Chocolate Gelato after the <laughs> first race. And then she comes back in her second race and runs like a 92. And I feel like a lot of horses really benefited from a start at Saratoga in maiden That's races. Crazy. And that could change at Aqueduct, obviously. Yeah, I think I think I more maybe made fun of the price uh, she was than than the horse yeah, itself. Yeah, she was low, but I mean that happened. The, the steam was there, and it's funny you mentioned her because I think of gerrymander too. Uh, she was nine to ten on debut, and in like a three horse field, and then second time out was ten to one and galloped and now she's a grade one winner. So uh, there's definitely something yeah. to the, the debut steam, even if they don't run to it right off the rip, especially for those powerful barns. And now would be a great time uh, to remind everyone. We do have a report at horse racing nation, the first timer power report, which ranks debut runners one to five. And in September, uh, the five star rated horses have a positive ROI flat bet profit. All you needed to do was play the five star horses. So uh, that report is clicking here as summer turns to fall. David, any last thoughts on uh, Belmont at the big A? No, the, the other thing about two year old races too, the distances start to, I was looking at the condition book, they're running a lot of mile two year old races. So I think you'll start to see, you might see a mile. They didn't run a mile and an eighth race at Saratoga this year. I just thought of that. They didn't run a two year old. They usually run like one or two. One, two yeah, you're races right. They didn't run it this year, but I was well, looking at the that, that Wilton shoot they wanted to show off. Yeah, I didn't really get all the hype about that. <laughs> I prefer it was I don't know. It was just it was it was fine, but it was what I mean. They ran like twenty five races on it, I think, and I didn't even think anything of it unless they talked about that it was actually yeah. In the I didn't Wilson either. I, mean, it, Wilton. I didn't get the hate. I didn't get the effusive love for it either. It's like whatever. Okay, you can yeah. run mile races now, great. But like some people were. Really I don't know why they needed to do this. They did it. Like, who cares? Yeah, and I will and I will say about the aqueduct meet. I'm calling it aqueduct because the races. Are they going to have like – is it going to be like – did they like change all the graphics at aqueduct, you think, and it's going to be like Belmont at the big A across oh, everything? Oh, absolutely. On the, yeah. Yeah, I feel like too because they're trying to get the people to think Belmont, I guess, for the handle yeah, or whatever. But. I think – I'm guessing maybe a small part of it and, and Tony Olivato is president and Ira Betts and – does the broadcast and a lot of TVG background. I'm sure he and, and the people around him, like, I don't know if you remember when uh, Co Gulfstream rebranded Calder's Gulfstream Park West, mm -hmm. and it definitely mm -hmm. made a difference. Like, handle went up. There's just no doubt about it. So I'm sure they're thinking of examples like that um, 
for handicapping purposes, though, this is racing at Aqueduct. Now, stat-wise, like who runs well in September, Barnes a point for this meet this month, that I'm fine using the Belmont information because that's what we have. But when it comes to looking at trends and how the track plays and things like that, it's Aqueduct. Yeah, 100%. And I, you know, the Belmont stake schedule is so good in the fall. I mean, I don't know if you've peeked at it, but the, the schedule, the stake schedule at Aqueduct now, whatever you want to call it, from Belmont is really good. I mean, you're going to have horses like Life is Good running. You have all those breeders kept winning your in races. So there is a lot of really good races. I think, I'm sure you probably know this because you're a stat guy, but I saw they're running like the first steeplechase race tomorrow and forever, many years. I can't remember yeah. the exact amount, but. The last guy to win um, the train, I can't remember the guy's name, but he, Lee O'Brien, uh, I think, was. Yeah, yeah that's that's mean, why that's, Andy mentioned that's that. how long it's been. So, but yeah, there's a lot going on at Aqueduct that hopefully people tune into. Yep. No, I, uh, I don't mind racing being there at all. I don't mind the name. Like, I get it. They want to make sure people know it's the, the, the greatness of the Belmont meet, fall championship meet, but. I wish they wouldn't have changed the track code or pretend that this is not happening at Aqueduct because it is. But uh, as long as you give out some winners, I think everyone will be happy. Yeah, I will say when I went to download DRF, it was I was a little I couldn't find Aqueduct, and then it said back B A Q, yeah. and I was a little. It's still take, and then in the program it says B A Q, which really doesn't make sense to me. But no, I don't know. I don't why love it, just, it. it. Like on the. Yeah, it should just say Aqueduct because the races are right. right. All right, but that's enough of that so far. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, we've scrolled it all uh, during our pr prattle. So for those uh, that didn't look below, uh, picks.horseracingnation.com is where you can get the paddock prints, not only for Belmont at – wait, what is it? Belmont at the Big A, Bach, uh, but also Churchill Downs, and we'll have another video about that. So stay tuned for Racing Beneath the Twin Spires. Good luck at Aqueduct, David. Thank you, too.